Which path is faster on Ninja Hideaway? After the final turn, you can either stick to the right and take the same path that you're forced to take on lap one, or you can swerve to the left and take this glider path but you shouldn't. This path is so obscure for so many reasons. Yes, in hindsight, you can get up to three coins here compared to the two down low. And in an online setting, because no one takes this path, you will not get hit by any items. However, no one takes this path for a very good reason. Unless you take a blind jump to the bottom path where you could fall off, you are forced to stay up top and take the right bridge after the second turn. Not only is this a lot slower, but you also have a very awkward alignment to the shortcut. However, if you're awesome like me, you can improvise and make the shroomless shortcut with ease. In all seriousness though, just stick to the right at the end of the lap and take the fastest path at the beginning of the lap. 99 times out of 100, you'll find more value in taking this path. If you want to get better at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, make sure to subscribe and keep on giving her, bud.